Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today I've got another NECA TMNT 2-pack and it is April O'Neil versus The Foot Soldier Bashed. So yeah, these came in the bunch I got a few, few weeks back. I'm um, just getting around to reviewing them now. So really happy to have April and The Foot Guy. Second one I have now. The problem with these is this is a line that I haven't had a lot of. So I don't have Turtles, I don't have Shredder. And they're releasing the Rock Soldiers now, and Baxter Stockman and Splinter, and the Krang Android Body. So every every single one of them I'm looking at now, and I'm like, I want them all. Ah, I hate it when this happens. So yeah, guys, let's have a look at these two, and hopefully they stand up to the previous two I got. So let's look at this TMNT 2-pack box. April versus Foot Soldier, bashed. So April does her own foot soldier bashing. By the way, I take no notice of this price tag. Nickelodeon, you got the pictures of April there and foot soldier with his chest hanging out, which is a pretty cool visual, I have to say. Uh, if you look at the box, you can see there is a ton of stuff to um, look at once I get these out. On the bottom, you've got the legally stuff. On the side, you've got April looking all reporter-like on the back. You've got the two of them together there, like they're getting ready to go on a hot date. And the three other two packs here, which I will have reviewed. And also April versus Foot Soldier, bashed. And you've got the big long spiel there about the turtles, which is on all these boxes. And on the side, you've got the Foot Soldier again. So without further ado, let's get these guys out of the box. So guys, here we have April and the Foot Soldier out of the box. So let's look at the accessories first. As you can see in April's hand, she is holding her Channel 6 news mic. And the foot soldier is holding his Dimension X laser gun thing. So let's look at the other accessories that they don't have on them. Again, there's this weapon that came with Bebop and Rocksteady already. Um, there's this turtle's communicator for the foot soldier and it has a picture of Bebop on the inside. It comes with different color ninja stars, which are quite nice. And the foot soldier himself comes with a bunch of different sets of hands. As you can see there, open hands and kind of grabby hands as well. And another fist hand as well. And yeah, two fisting hands. That doesn't sound right. So April herself, she comes with this pretty cool tape recorder, which she can put over her shoulder and then hold the mic. Now these are cool accessories for like other dioramas and stuff as well. So these are good to have. She also comes with this video camera. Again, another cool accessory to have. I have it all upside down. Another cool accessory to have if you want to like do um, wrestling promos and stuff. I found myself using April for actually. So that looks cool. She does come with this mini Xenomorph. Now, I can't remember exactly what number episode I think. It was one of the really early ones. That had these giant things in the sewers that were very similar to Xenomorphs. I think it was maybe episode 3 or 4 of the original cartoon. But that's a nice little um, call back to those. She does come with two different hands herself. As you can see they are tiny. She comes with a turtles communicator. So I think this opens if you give me a sec. Because it's quite small. Yeah it opens up. Like so. Now, I'm disappointed there wasn't a picture of one of the turtles in there, which would have been pretty cool. But nonetheless, I probably won't be using this anyway. It also comes with this little statue. Now, it looks like a beaver of some sort. So people in the comments, I can't remember what, what episode or what this was from. So people in the comments, let me know if you do know. So that's the, um, the bunch of accessories. Let's look at the foot soldier first. Um, this, is, this guy is pretty standard. He's the very same as all the other foot soldiers, except his innards have been bashed to bits. And they look quite cool, little wires and stuff sticking out. And he's got the double jointed elbows and all the usual joints. Again, this is a NECA figure, so don't force the joints. You should know by now if you're a long time collector. And if you're a new collector to NECA, if you want to be messing these around like Marvel Legends and stuff, you damn sure better heat these up because they will break on you. Um, it's 
quite a bit of controversy going around about them at the moment. But let's not, that's for another day. His arms do go out. <coughs> Excuse me. Like so. Again, I cannot stress how much to be careful on these. He does have double jointed elbows. He does have bicep swivels. The wrists move up and down. Legs go out like that. Splitsies, they do go out. Again, just be careful. He does have double jointed knees, which are quite good. And uh, boot rotation and somewhat of an ankle rocker. It just doesn't seem to be working on this one. It's quite tight, but it does work. Not much though. So guys, that's the foot soldier. If you, you've probably got one, of the, one or two of these already as they have come out in multiple packs with other figures packed in. I already, <coughs> I already reviewed the Casey Jones pack. <coughs> Excuse me. So here is April O'Neil. A lot of people have said her head is too big for her body and that's probably true because her head does look massive compared to her body scale wise. Maybe she could be a bit taller and the head smaller it would work better. But let's not dwell on that. I do like the lines from the suit on the show. It really makes the animated look pop. Pop, pop, pop. The face is really good. As you can see, it's really nice. She's got the makeup and all that stuff, good stuff going on. As for articulation, she looks up, looks down, to the side a little bit and full rotation. Again, she's got the lines on, the, on even on the hair. Which is really, really good. She does have double jointed elbows. Her arms do go out that far. And they do go around in circles. And obviously, without at the risk of repeating myself, don't force them. She has a diaphragm joint which goes around in a circle. You get a good range of motion there. The wrists do move and can be changed out, as we saw. <coughs> Legs go out this far. And go up that far. If it's creaking that much, you're probably forcing it. And she does have double jointed knees. I don't think she needs them, but she does have them for anyway, which is good. No boot rotation and a bit of an ankle movement, which is quite stiff again. But on the whole, this is a great two pack. Um, it's it's good to give a different type of foot soldier rather than just another regular one. And April herself is a pretty important character in the turtles lore. So it's good to have her and I'm glad I do have her. And yeah guys, that has been my review for this pack. I would definitely highly recommend it. If you're collecting this line, you probably have it already. And if you don't, go grab it before those prices. Head up into the stratosphere as seems to be happening lately with these NECA figures. So I hope you enjoyed it guys. And make sure to drop a comment, drop a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. That would be really helpful. And thank you once more and I hope you have a great day and see you again. Bye.